Hey you guys, how are you doing? I hope everyone is well and in good health, especially in this pandemic. I hope your family, your loved ones are all well and in good health. Right, let's get into the video. So I'm just showing you my aloe vera here. This video really is about um, how to buy the freshest aloe vera leaf and how to store it. So first of all, you want to make sure that your aloe vera is smooth okay the skin of the aloe vera is smooth so i'm showing you two aloe veras here the first one if you can see is a more darker green color and the other one is a more lighter green color i would recommend for you guys to always look for the darker green color okay it is really the freshest if you're harvesting aloe vera at home and um you're you're using it um, for your smoothies and your and your and your juices. Make sure that the aloe vera is mature, about sixty centimeters. Okay, and um, yeah, um, if you're ingesting it, also make sure that um, all that yellow sap, that aloe, is out of it before you you do use it for whatever you do you use it for. Okay. Um, how I store my aloe vera is in the freezer. I cut it up um, and I um, obviously take the gel out and I freeze the gel, okay? And I freeze it um, for however long I need it for, okay? Um, my last batch that I froze, I still have one. I did it, I did that last year and I still have one left so as you can see i just uh, freeze it for however long i want to and then i just use it up okay um so yeah as you can see the way i do it is i just try and cut off the skin and um yeah cut off the skin like you're cutting off the skin of a fish and then yeah go around and then cut the the round bit off as well so I'm just showing these two aloe veras here, the difference in the colors. Okay, so as you can see, the darker green color is the gel is more clearer than the other one. The gel is much, much clearer. And that is what you want. You want the gel when you cut into it, the gel should be very clear. If it's not, then I mean it's still okay to use, as you can see with mine. I'm still using it, but I'd recommend that you get the the, the darker green out of very leaf. So I'm cutting it all up. I'm cutting the side, the prickly side off first. And then I start to cut the aloe vera salt. Now, every single time you see me whip the aloe vera out or go get it, you know that I'm on some sort of a mission, okay? And it's the same this time, okay? So, I always whip out the aloe vera when I am growing my hair or when I want more growth with my hair. So, I cut my hair um, last year, guys. I cut it to a tapered um, shape last year and I was in love with my tapered cut okay I love it and I was like listen I'm going to keep this tapered cut for a very long time okay I'm gonna keep my hair short for a very long time then I see you all guys in the in the in the on the YouTube and you guys are rocking your beautiful hair and it, it, I just missed my hair a little bit I'm not gonna lie okay so I cut it about a year now and I keep cutting the sides and the back but you guys are making me not want to cut it anymore with your beautiful hair and everything so yeah I'm on a mission to grow it back okay so I can't wait um that's the thing with hair you know it's so funny it's just one minute you know you want it short the other minute you want it long you know 
but it's a good thing definitely because um you girls out there you're doing it your your, your hair is so beautiful when i see youtube um and um, people who make youtube videos and their long hair it's just i miss my hair you know i do and so this is what i'm doing i'm i'm trying to grow it back and i use aloe vera i use what i'm trying to do these days is just try and make my own products okay um i try and make my own products because i feel like these days a lot of first of all the all natural ingredients um in a in a product are so super expensive and the ones that aren't are full of crap okay so that's why i'm trying to make my own ingredients i'm trying to make my own um hair mask deep conditioners um whatever i'm trying to um do it all my shampoos leave-in i'm doing it all guys at home okay so at this point i think i'm using 60 percent or even 70 percent of made at home products and i'm about 30 percent of store-bought products okay because i'm just fed up of the chemicals of all the bad things that are in the look in some of these products for our hair and if they're not the price is like ridiculous especially here in the uk if you you uk girls are here let me know let me know how much how how you feel about this this um topic because i i have feel so strongly about it it really gets on my nerves because everything is so priced up it's it's just ridiculous guys so i find that it's better for me to do my own make my own products and buy them okay um so yeah back on the topic of the aloe vera so you do want your leaf to look smooth sometimes you do get all those veins on the skin of the aloe vera the 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 more veins the older the aloe vera is okay so you definitely don't want to see too much veins on the on the skin okay and of course this um, the skin should be very smooth okay and the color should be that i don't know that kind of evergreen color i don't know i'm not good with colors but you know when i started i show you i showed you two um two different aloe veras okay and i did the i did it this way so that you guys can see the difference in the gel and the in the skin and the kind of gel you get okay so i cut it all up i put it in my little bowl and then i just um and put it in my Ziploc bags and I I um, just put it in my freezer and what I, I, I do is I defrost it when I need it so if I know I'm gonna do like a, a hair mask or a deep conditioner in the morning I just take it out the night before and it's ready one thing I'd advise though is that don't um, blend it straight off or use it straight off after you take it out of the freezer you want to make sure that it's defrosted depending on what you're doing with it i have realized that when you blend it well it's in the frozen state um but that slime that you want from the aloe vera especially if you're making your leave-in it's not there as much okay so let it completely defrost and then use it for whatever you want it for and when you take it out of the freezer and you defrost it it still looks great it smells great it's just so nice and fresh okay so yeah um i have one in the freezer which i will show you later in this video um that i cut up and stored in there last year and it's still in there and it's still fresh and when i defrost it it still looks good okay so this is what i do with my aloe vera I always also buy organic aloe vera, okay? I always buy organic. Um, I, I have a, a thing that whatever is going into your body and outside of your skin or hair should be organic, okay? So wherever I can, I try to, to get organic. Sometimes I don't, um, especially um, with this coronavirus, I've, I found it more difficult to find the organic ones. But I have a, uh, a local shop. It's not local to me. It's in a different area where I go. And it's slightly a little bit of a longer journey. But I just make it for my aloe vera. Okay. But if you want just any old aloe vera. There's 
tons around this area where I live. Um, but yeah, so as you can see, I'm now putting, see how gooey that is? How beautiful. I just love aloe vera. So yeah, I just put it in my um, Ziploc bags. And this is one I have frozen for over a year, as you can see. And, and it's still good and it's still good to use, okay? So here I'm just showing you how fresh the uh, gel is compared to um, the other aloe vera. This color is so nice and green. And the gel is very clear. When the gel is clear, you know that you're good, okay? Hope you guys have enjoyed and I shall see you in the next one. Take care, guys. Bye.